Hello and welcome to the Bigger Pixel. My name is Advin, and today we're going to go over what I call the general console commands of Fallout 4. First, you need to know that you cannot access the console if you play on a console, that being the Xbox One or PS4. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to help you out if you play on any of those platforms. However, if you are a PC player, in order to get into the console, it's quite simple. For American keyboards, you just hit the tilde key in the upper left hand corner above the tab button. And as you can see, we have the console up now. It's a gray box that pops up and I've used a couple console commands already, but we're not gonna go into those just yet. One thing to note is you can still click while you have the console open. And as you can see, it pops up at the top here with a reference ID. 1, 4 here, 14 being the player. If I click somewhere else, it's going to reference something else, so be aware of that. Our first console command is the help command, and it's written out as help, space, the item you're looking for. One word, don't put a space in there, so let's look for item, see what comes up. And then what you're sorting by, and that uh, being an integer, you have zero for everything, one for functions, two for settings, three for globals, and four for forms. The sort uh, integer is actually called a form type. Uh, and then after that, if you're using number four for forms, you have to type in the form after that. And I'll go into that in just a moment. But help item zero will give us everything. So as you can see there, it gave us quite a bit. And you can see form types listed on the left hand side there for the reference IDs that we're getting. So as you can see, quest CA drop useful item, it gives a reference ID of 00F169B. But if that's not what I'm looking for there, I can scroll up and down using the page up and page down key on my keyboard. And let's just go up to the top here and I'll show you what else comes out. It gives us a bunch of script functions, add item, remove item, and those are actually console commands in the game that you can use. And uh, some of them are specifically related to scripts. And then you have viewer string variables and global variables, and that just kind of gives you some information about what's going on in the game. But usually what you'll be concerned with is the other forms, and that gives you reference IDs for items in the game such as bottle caps and armor and such. So let's do the same thing. Let's type in help. We'll search for another item and we'll search for functions. We didn't get anything for functions because there's nothing relating to that word. For functions we'll search for item settings next and as you can see it gave us nothing because there's nothing relating to settings. Help item three globals is what three is and that'll give us some things you probably saw as i was scrolling around in there overdue book items and costs and all that and finally we have forms and for forms i'm actually going to type in something useful like bottle because I, I might be looking for bottle caps to give myself so i'm going to type in four for a form type and i know it's a miscellaneous item so i'm going to search that but other Form types are NPC, armor, weapon, quest, cell, O mod being weapon mods, miscellaneous, faction, perk, and furniture. I'm sure there's a few more that I'm forgetting. But anyway, miscellaneous bottle. At the top there, we can see bottle caps reference ID is 000000F. And that is the full reference ID for a bottle cap. And by the end of this video, I will have shown you how to get bottle caps into your inventory, but we're not going to go into that at just this moment. Our next console command doesn't really do anything for us. It's supposed to clear the console, and it is clear console. You can type it as clear console or clear, and as you can see here, it did absolutely nothing, but it's supposed to clear up the console for you and make it so that nothing's there. Our next one, I'm actually going to search up someplace because... I need somewhere for us to go. It is center on cell, C-O-C. And I'm going to center on cell in sanctuary. 
if I can spell, exterior. And what a cell in the game is, obviously I didn't spell it right. Sanctuary, sanctuary, thank you. What a cell is in the game, it's, it's a block that is loaded, this like cube that is loaded. And the game loads various cubes around you. And it, what center on cell does is it puts you in the center of one of those or at a waypoint that has been marked. So in Sanctuary, there's like 13 of these blocks and only so many of them will be loaded at a time. So when you center on a cell, it'll put you in the center of one of those. You can also go interior places and stuff. You'll just need to know kind of what you're looking for and look that up with the help command. Our next command is TGM, which is toggle god mode. And that makes you invulnerable, gives you infinite ammo. You can basically run around and be a god. We're going to disable that because our next one is toggle immortal mode, which is very similar, except your ammo does get used up. You do take damage, but you cannot die. However, if you run into a death animation from like a death claw or something like that, you will have an issue. The game will try to kill you, but will find out that it can't. So that'll cause some problems. I suggest you save before using this command if you decide to use it at all. Our next console command I'm gonna open the Pip-Boy for because it relates directly to the map. And you'll see here, I have everything marked. And how did I do that? I did that with TMM1 and that marks everything. But obviously, since I already have everything marked, there is nothing there. So I'm going to remove all that by typing in TMM0 and then show you how that works. TMM1 gives us everything. And then let's say I don't want everything. I just want to, well, TMM1 allows you to uh, fast travel there. Sorry. Uh, TMM1 comma zero, which I'm about to do, uh, will discover it, but you won't be able to fast travel. So even, um, well, sorry, it marks it, but it's undiscovered. So even Sanctuary, when I get out of this, is going to say that it is just discovered now and give me the experience for that. I suppose it's also a way that you can kind of give yourself some experience, but I mean, it's not really what it's for, it's just to make it easy to fast travel places. Our next console command is toggle clipping TCL, and it turns the collision off as you see there in the console. And it allows us to fly. It's also known as fly mode. You're able to go up and down through the ground because your character collides with nothing now. Now you can go pretty much wherever you like with collision on, or, or off rather, and that restricts you to the boundaries of an area. So if you're an indoors area, you can only go to the boundary of that area. You can't go beyond it, so you can't travel outside the Fallout universe or outside the given loaded area that you're in. Just be aware of that. Now our next console command is kind of similar but only affects your camera and that is TFC, Toggle Flying Camera, and it decouples your camera from third person allowing you to control it individually. Now your character will stay in place as you can see and typically he just turns around and does whatever the hell he wants. Um, what you doing there, guy? Anyway, uh, our next console command is set UFO cam speed multiplier, molt, actually, and then followed by an integer. The integer in this case that we're going to use is 10. The default is 20, so we're halving the speed of the camera. And this is really useful if you're not using toggle flying camera with a controller where the joystick will give you better acceleration control. With the keyboard, you don't really have much control of how fast the camera is moving. But on with the next. Our next console command is toggle game pause, TGP. And that'll freeze the entire game except for certain background effects such as bushes moving like this one here. But as you can see, my character is no longer moving at all. And if I had some NPCs around, neither would they. But our next console command is toggle menu. And this will turn off all menus to include the ability to see the console. So when you use this, be careful. As you can see, it disappeared. But actually, if I 
hit the tilde key, everything is still going on. I will turn off toggle game pause to show you. See, no menus there, but I did that anyway, even though the console is closed, or actually it was open, but you can't see it. So I've turned the menus back on, you see what I did there. Menus off, menus on. Be careful with this one, because you can run into some serious problems when you end up turning it off and forgetting what key is what and all sorts of crazy stuff will happen. So just be aware of that. Our next console command is the screenshot command and that is just spelled out quite simply, screenshot. It'll take a screenshot without any menus and it'll dump it into your Fallout 4 folder. And if you're playing on Steam, that's under common files, Fallout 4 and it'll just name it screenshot whatever number. So it'll, it'll do so in sequence. Uh, sequence. And that, uh, that that's really if you don't wanna clutter your Steam folder, if you're playing on Steam, or your screenshot folder on Steam. Um, not sure what else you might use that for, but basically it just takes a screenshot. It's the same thing as hitting print screen, except it removes the menus that'll be underneath. Our next console command, actually our next few console commands, affect certain settings within the game. And this console command is God Rays, and that's just GR. You can enable, disable, and edit them. We're just gonna hit enable here, and it'll actually pop up with a bunch of different things you can do. Now I don't really mess with these, but it does allow you to change the way the God Rays are working in the game. It's sort of spews out something like uh, Microsoft Command Prompt might in order to give you an idea of what commands you need to type in to do certain things. Our other one is Character Light CL and you can do the same thing, enable, disable, and edit those. And I'm just gonna disable them here. Of course, it doesn't seem to do much at all. So let's just turn those back on because who knows what that did. I can spell. There we go. Long day. All right. Our next console command is save console output file, followed by file name. And it doesn't really seem to do anything. But if we do save console output file, which is scoff for short, followed by test here, which will be our name, it says that it saves a console output file, but I have no idea where it saves that. And if you find out where that goes, please tell me because I am interested into what exactly this console command is for. I'm assuming that it just spews out, hey, this is what has gone on. But obviously I'm clueless on this one. Our next console command is the batch command. And this calls on a batch file within your Fallout 4 folder. So we're gonna just gonna, we're gonna use one we already have, batch armor. I'll show you how to make a batch file in another video, but that's a little lengthy. So um, batch armor, as you can see, it just spewed a bunch of armor into my inventory there. What a batch file does, or bat command, it carries out a series of commands in sequence based on a notepad file. And I'll, like I said, show you how to make one of those at some point. Our next few console commands here I'm going to go over real quick and they all simply affect things in the background of your game, uh, settings as far as graphics are concerned. And that is toggle grass TG, turns that off, toggle try juicing, we're going to turn that off real quick, toggle low lods which affects your far distant objects as you can see some things just aren't appearing. We're going to toggle the sky next, bye bye sky, and toggle wireframe, which might trip some people out a bit. So we're going to turn all that back on because I don't like looking at that. And move on to the next console command, which will be clear screen blood. And this is helpful if you're taking a screenshot. Probably should have mentioned that a little bit earlier. but. Basically, if you have a bunch of dirt on your screen, on your character's screen, because you've been shot and you're trying to take the screenshot of this epic battle, 
you hit clear screen blood and everything will be a-okay so that is csb for that one our next two console commands are quite simply in order to name a save so it is save to save a uh, game and then we're going to name this one console commands so we're saving console commands and then i can simply load console commands if i don't want to find it in my you know directory of load games with through the game menu i can simply type in the one that i know what it is and then i'll load that specific save but i'm not going to do that because we simply just save so it wouldn't make much sense so our next console command is set game time multiplier and then uh, you put in an integer after that so we're going to make it two times faster and we're going to close the console command uh, console here and as you can see things are moving a little fast but i'm going to get a flying camera mode here and run around so the entire game is running two times its speed and that means that if you increase it to something beyond two times things are going to get quite crazy the the radio will even run two times faster everything moving two times faster will cause some problems eventually so be careful with this one it's not a very good command to say wait for an npc to show up just to speed up time please don't use it for that simply wait because it could cause errors down the line and at the beginning of the video i told you that i would show you how to get items into your inventory and i'm going to do that right after this next console command so this console commands real quick i'm going to show you how to simply get rid of some object that you may have spawned in that you don't want there and it is not the command i just put in and i'm going to call it god mode because i don't want to die so i'm going to kill him there you go all right so we don't want this body here so i'm going to click on that and it's referencing that specific item and i'm going to mark him for delete and this is a console command left over from skyrim so if i were to remove all the objects from him which i actually can't now because he has been marked as an item that is going away he doesn't even have an inventory anymore he will eventually disappear so if I fast travel somewhere he will go away and I don't have to worry about him being in my settlement and that's really good for settlements that you have to take over by force because sometimes things will just be left over and I hate that I know many other people do so I told you I'd tell you how to get things into your inventory if you remember the reference ID for bottle caps I'm going to show you how to get bottle caps and it is simply player dot add item it's that simple and then followed by the reference id it was zero 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 f and so we want 100 of those so it's going to add 100 bottle caps to my inventory as you see there now you don't actually have to type in all those zeros in order to get the same result i'm going to remove all the zeros and i'm going to type in 1000 it just gave me 1000 bottle caps now the thing with this is for any reference id you do not need to use all the zeros before an integer or a number greater than that value so if my reference id was 00145 i don't need to use the first two zeros if it had an a here I don't need to use the first two zeros so you can ignore any of the zeros before something that isn't a zero so that's that console command and i'll probably go over it again in another one of our videos it looks right now like we're gonna have uh, seven videos to the series maybe eight if you include the batch uh batch file making but it's it's really simple these console commands they don't really relate to any one given thing but they're pretty powerful and i hope 
that I was able to help you understand some of these console commands, or at least to get you a little bit familiar with them. And I do need to mention, I forgot to say earlier, and you probably saw me do it, in order to recall a previous console command, you can hit the up arrow key, and if you go a little bit too far, you can hit the down arrow key, and that'll bring you one down in the previous console commands that have been used. This has been the Bigger Pixel. My name is Advent. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving it a like and subscribing for more Fallout 4 content in the upcoming weeks and days to come.